Those of you who have watched my channel for a while know that I've had an arcade system that I built 18 years ago, so it's now old enough to vote and it's falling apart. And I decided that I was either going to build a new one or buy a new one that I can mod. And I decided to buy one of these arcade one-ups. A lot of people have different opinions on these arcade one-up cabinets, so I thought I would film myself putting mine together and giving you my first thoughts. These units come with a little Linux machine built in, but what you can do is pull that out and you can get a driver board for about $25, which I bought here to connect any computer, uh, whether it's VGA out or HDMI out, and basically you just take out this, this computer and use a Raspberry Pi or a laptop and go to the screen and wire up your own controllers, which is what I planned on doing. But I also saw a few machines, and this seems to be one of those that is probably running Android, is what it looked like in the videos. Uh, you can see we have Wi-Fi antenna here, we have Ethernet here. Another good thing about we have a SD card, or a micro SD card, we have a micro USB and a standard USB, so I should be able to hook up, I'm assuming a keyboard to this, or even other controllers, uh, if I wanted to gut this, because I do have my light up controllers. Uh, another thing about this is a lot of the models I saw where people wanted to replace the speakers, they had to get some sort of amplifier and wire up things where this one just has a little eighth inch jack uh, to connect the speakers, which means I can plug pretty much any speakers in this. I don't have to rewire stuff. So, so far, I am very happy with this machine. It's got uh, uh, a real marquee with a light, which some people say is cheap, but uh, I think that's going to be cooler than the wood. And another thing I wasn't sure about when I was purchasing this, on, purchasing this online is some units have uh, graphic art up front, and then some of them had a flat picture of what looked like a coin slot and I thought that looked horrible and I didn't know when I bought this one if it was going to have uh, the picture or this it's not a real coin slot but it's plastic but it's it's actually sticking out it looks like a real coin slot uh, I wish they drilled little holes here maybe I will so I could put a, a can in there so you could put quarters in it, it makes the noise uh, but I'm very happy that it had this over just a flat image the cabinet together was fairly simple. It's like putting together any cheap piece of furniture. They advise you many times in the manual not to use an electric screw gun to put the screws in, but I always do. You just gotta be careful not to strip out the screw holes. One of the things I would have done a little different is the screen does have a protective plastic wrap on it, and the instructions say to peel it off after it's in there and you kind of have the unit together, but when I went to do that, I could not get the top out from underneath the little bevel of the wood, and it took me a while, and I still see little tiny pieces of plastic at the top there and I've noticed in other YouTube videos other people have the plastic sticking out there too so I would take the screen protector off before I finish putting it into the unit uh, and it would be a lot more satisfying because that kind of removed the whole satisfying feeling you get when you peel off one of those protective coats. So here it is, so let's put the knobs on here, but I have it next to my old arcade center, which is a little larger than a normal arcade unit, uh, because it originally had a big tube TV and I had to fit it, uh, build it to fit that TV. Uh, but I still haven't put the riser on, which is going to raise it up like a foot and a half higher. Uh, as you can see, it's very small, but let's have a look at it compared to my old unit. And again, part of this is, not only did I want something nice with the graphics on it, which started to have my sister do here, um, but I, I wanted something smaller because I don't want to take up a lot of room in this new uh, game room that I built. We have a big TV for playing video games and we have this, uh, but let's look at the two next to each other. So as you can see, it's just a, a little baby unit right now. Let me go ahead and put together that riser and see how it compares. all put together with the riser. Decent height. Again, these controls that it came with are pretty cheap and originally I was going to completely swap them out and plug it all into a computer using different boards. I am hoping, again, that this one runs Android and it had that full-size USB port that I'm hoping I can plug a game controller in, in which case I can still swap out these buttons and use the onboard computer. I'm going to flip this on for the first time, cross my fingers that it actually turns on. Well, the light came on up here on the marquee and it says loading. Uh, other things about this, it's got a double volume switch. It's got, like I said, Wi-Fi and Ethernet because it has a live mode. I guess you can play against people online. 
Probably not something I'm going to do, but if this is running Android, I want to access it. Access it remotely, I should be able to. Well, that was cool. Uh, it also has a headphone jack right here, which is pretty cool. And uh, let's we'll wait for it to load and see how it goes. So far, I'm very happy with this perk. So this is me going through. Let's see. Uh, oh, I can. Oh, that's neat. Uh, I heard a lot of these units only have a high and low volume. This one actually, I can toggle through and it adjusts the volume. Uh, so I'm going to go through the setup on this for the first time. So I'm going to uh, set up Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, let's see. I hit uh, yes. Yeah, this is clearly an Android system. There's my Wi-Fi. Enter passcode, so don't want to show you guys this. I may not mod this as much, because again, I was going to hook up a whole other computer, but since this seems to be running Android, I should be able to load other ROMs on here, as well as games I make myself. And again, there is a micro SD card slot, so I have as much storage as I would need. So, yeah. If and when I do mods on this, I will definitely do a video on it. So far, I'm very happy with this. Again, you know... There's a lot of different opinions about these little cabinets out there. I do wish it was slightly bigger, but I'm also glad it's not as big as my old one, because one of my reasons of getting this was, again, to save room, but also, I had this one, I built this 18 years ago, and I finally got Rayu painted on there, my sister painted that on there, and she hasn't even finished yet, uh, a couple months ago. I never did a marquee, I drew a Punisher skull on here, and I never did trim. So almost 20 years, and I never finished this one. So now I'm just happy to have something that has some nice artwork, and I specifically picked this one uh, because of the artwork on the side, because there were other models that didn't have that, but also I'm glad I got it because it has the light-up marquee. It's got, again, this seems a little more advanced than some of the cheaper ones. I paid um, $450 for this. There was another Street Fighter one that didn't have this artwork that probably didn't have the extra features I like uh, that was only $400, so it was $50 less, but I'm glad I got this one, and I was sure to get a Street Fighter one or something with the six buttons because no matter what I do with this, it's probably going to be a fighting game uh, console. So that's it. Uh, I will probably do a follow-up video on this, but I thank you for watching. As always, I hope you have a great day. Films by Chris.com. That's Chris McKay. Link in the description.